Hey guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this old film effect in Premiere Pro. To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline. I'd like to add my effect to let's begin by right-clicking in the project panel and selecting New Item Adjustment Layer. Dragging the adjustment layer above your video so that you have to empty tracks between it and your video. Now let's go over to the Effects panel. Type Waveform into the search box and drag the effect under the adjustment layer. Then search for Noise and drag that effect on your adjustment layer. Next search for Gaussian Blur and drag it onto your adjustment layer. Finally search for Crop and drag that effect on your adjustment layer as well. Now that we have our effects, make sure your adjustment layer is selected on your timeline and go up to Effect Controls, go down to Wave Warp and change the wave type to square change the wave width to 700 and change the direction to 0 min changes the wave speed to 0.1 and lastly change the pinning to all edges. Okay now we have a glitchy looking line that runs up our video. Now let's go down to noise and effect controls and change the amount of noise to 40%. To make our video look grainy then go down to the Gaussian blur effect and change the blurriness to 5 which will make our video look less HD and for the crop effect, change the left and right properties to 10% so that it has a non-HD aspect ratio. Okay, this is looking good, but to make this look even cooler, let's add an RGB offset effect to our video. To do this, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard while dragging your video onto the track above and on the timeline to duplicate it, but to make one more duplicate for the track above now that we have three copies of our video, Let's go over to the effects panel type RGB into the search box. Drag the color balance RGB effect on the each one of your three videos. Then select your bottom video and go up to effect controls. Under color balance, change the blue value to 100, change the green and red values to zero. We're done with this clip, so select the next one up on the timeline. In effect controls, change the opacity is blend mode to screen. Then set the greens value to 100 and change a random blue values to zero. Finally, select your top video under your adjustment layer. Change the opacity is mode to screen and effect controls. Under the color balance effect, set the red value to 100, change the green and blue values to zero, then go up to scale for this clip and increase it to 102 to offset your top video, creating this cool looking RGB effect. All right, and there we have our old film effects and premiere. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.